Hey guys, what's up? It's me again, the Gun Nut. Today, um, first of all, if you hear any of this wind noise, I apologize. It's kind of windy out here, but it feels great. So, um, on that note, we're going to be talking about Accelerator Pistol by Excel Arms. It's a 17 HMR. Awesome little round, uh, especially in the rifle. Great varmint gun if you're going to be doing prairie dogs, groundhogs, squirrels, rabbits. You know, awesome fast little round. It's just rimfire, actually. Um, this, I believe, was this pistol, was, I believe, was produced around 2007 through 2010 or 11, maybe. Um, it's a blowback design, the action on it. Pretty cool. The barrel is about eight and a half inches long. Overall length, maybe about 12 inches. Um, it looks pretty big and bulky. That's because it is big and bulky. But it ain't that bad on weight. It's about 50, 55 ounces, maybe. Um, the cool part about it is it came with a red dot. So they already come with an optics on it. You know, it's, you can do the green or red. Pretty cool. Um, I've been shooting it and don't know if it's the gun or the ammo because I've only tried the CCI. That's um, that's all I got to try out with it. Um, <clears throat> I was at the store, just went in there to check on Mike and Kelly and Chris and see what they had up, something new or anything. And again, guys, y'all pay them a visit. Georgia Gun Store, awesome, awesome. Awesome place. Uh, you can actually, you can check out the website, GeorgiaGunStore.com. Check them out. Uh, awesome stuff they got. Awesome pricing. Great place. I was in there and Mike goes, "Hey, I got something you might want to check out." I was like, "Okay, cool. Let me see." And he says, "What about this?" I was like, "Wow." Pick. I went to go pick it up. I was expecting something heavy, and I was like, "Oh, wait a minute. Not bad. Okay, cool." Um, and I was like, man, that's, what is that? He said, it's a 17 inch MR. I was like, awesome. Yeah, it looks cool. Um, I've been having some feeding issues, ejecting issues. Like I said, again, could be the ammo. I just got some CCIs, 17 grain. That's all I just picked up just to try out, to do this review on. So y'all might have some different experiences with it that uh, if some of you that do have this gun itself, let me know, comment below, and let me know what kind of ammo you're using um, if you do have this gun. So that way we can inform other people out there that see this video and want some information about it. So um, it's nine round magazine, and what I've found out that uh, there's a certain way you gotta load this magazine because if your last round is flat, no go. It's gotta be set up at an angle. So that way it'll slide in and load. Find out, you can just once you load them in there, tap it. Also found out that on the ninth round, it's almost like you have to force it in there. So I just leave that out. Even though it says it's a nine round capacity. Yeah, but no. Comes with this little can of, or tuna can opener thing that you just have to slide in the side. Push down with your thumb and load them in there. So, um, I don't know. That's, I think they got a little bit lazy with this stuff, so, um, but cool, it's, it's still a firearm, and it still looks pretty cool, so, um, let me grab the camera, and I'll get you guys a little bit closer look to it, so we'll, we'll talk about it more, and then we'll let the camera do the talking, again, um, I apologize for the wind noise, it's kind of windy out here, and as well, I think I'm finding off of like a little bit of a cold or something, but, um, you see how it is right now? That round is up at an angle. That's what you're wanting. Let me grab another round real quick. If the round is in there, say like that. No, 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 no. Got to be up like that. So, um, 17 HMR. Pretty cool looking. Like I said, it, it's different for sure. Excel arms. Accelerator pistol, yeah. Um, it's, again, it's a nine round magazine, but I just got eight in there because we'll see what it does here in a little bit. You'll see what I mean if it acts up. See a little can opener thing, 
slide in that hole, put your thumb on it and push down to load your rounds in there. So, yeah, that's, I don't know, that, that's just laziness to me that they said, I'll send a piece of small piping with it. They can load their own magazine up with it. Cool, instead of actually putting like a little helper on the side built onto it as well instead of this. So um, enough of that. Let's see what the gun has to say about it. Let the gun do all the talking and then that way you can decide. Which I myself, I've already been shooting it. I'm not too fond of it. So um, it may be nice, something different to add to the collection, but it ain't something that I'm gonna go out of my way to look for or to pick up. Um, yeah, so we'll see about that. Again, we're at the range. Eyes and ears, people, eyes and ears, be careful. All right, let's see what this thing does. That's another thing. You got to make sure the magazine goes in there correctly. Because it might look like it's in there. That little tab will be barely on there to where it's not holding it correctly. And it'll come out or it won't load correctly. So, um, <coughs> you got your slide stop and your safety. So, we'll see. Loaded one in there. That's good. Again, rimfire. I'm sure those of you that have shot 22s before have come across that problem where the hammer doesn't quite strike it good enough to make it go off. We're not off to a good start. Another misfire. Again, the hammer didn't quite hit it good enough, so uh, that's where that's at. Uh, another one. And another one. So, we got what? I don't know. Four rounds to fire. Four or five rounds to fire out of that one. Um, maybe three, I don't know. My take, eh, I'd pass on this one. Don't know whether it could be the ammo or the actual gun itself where the hammer is not fully extending out to it to hit the rim fire on it correctly. So, um, I think I'm going to pass on this one. On my go, or my opinion on this one, looks cool. But if you find one cheap, like the most I'm willing to pay for one, just because it looks cool and maybe about 200 bucks, that's what I would pay for it. But um, I'm sure I'd, I'd rather stick to the rifle. If I'm doing a 17 HMR, I'd probably stick to a rifle. So um, that's my outtake, my look on the accelerator pistol by Excel Arms. I think they got lazy on this one. They could have done a little bit more testing because yeah that's just not my cup of tea looks cool not my cup of tea so guys that was it on the 17 HMR accelerator pistol if you guys have any information about this gun uh, something that I missed comment below let me know um, I'll be more than happy to read your comments and find out more information about it so um, 
Guys, this is the Gun Nut again. Till next time. We'll see what we can shoot up. Pay a visit Georgia Gun Store. Check them out. Engage with Georgia. Tell them the Gun Nut sent you. They'll take good care of you guys. So, until uh, next time, guys. Again, I apologize for the wind noise. It's kind of windy out here, but it feels so good. And it ain't hot. Fall's coming. Awesome. So, until next time, guys. This is Gun Nut. Let's see what we can shoot up.